All right, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean spray caps that have been used with water-based spray paint. I use Montana Water-Based 300 a lot, and one of the issues is that it clogs the caps quite a lot, but there is a great workaround. And as far as I can tell, nobody else knows how to do this, so learn it here. Those are the caps for Montana Water-Based 300. We're going to use a couple of different things to clean them. We're going to use what, uh, a biological cleaner, and I like to use Simple Green because it's very accessible, but if you don't have that in your area, get some other biological cleaner that you can soak your caps in. So I put about half uh, Simple Green and half water in there, and I soak my caps in there, hopefully overnight, and really soften up that paint. So those are all my used spray caps in there soaking, and they've been soaking overnight. And the other thing we're going to use is WD-40. Now WD-40 has a spray cap on top, but it is not the same kind as is used in Montana Water Base 300, so you're going to need an adapter. And you can get an adapter that will convert, convert basically an Innie to an Audi <laughs> so that you can put uh, your spray caps on it that you use with the Montana Water Base 300. And we spray WD-40 through them and that uh, either loosens up the paint or gets rid of whatever's in the spray caps. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a cap out wipe off any paint that's uh, been stuck around the edges of the place where the paint comes out, the hole, or anywhere. And then if it has uh, paint stuck inside, I'll clean it out with a sewing pin. But if it doesn't, I'll just put it on top of the WD-40, spray through it. If it sprays through, that cap is now ready to reuse. So let's do it again. Wipe off my dirty spray cap, get all the paint off, check and see if it has any paint inside. It doesn't, so all I need to do is put it on my adapter and my WD-40, spray a little WD-40 through it, and it's done. It's clean, ready to use. Now this one has a little paint stuck inside of it, so I'm going to take a sewing pin, and I'm going to go inside the little tube that's underneath on the bottom, and just get out any gunk that I can get with that uh, pin. Sometimes you can't get it all out, that's all right. You'll loosen it up with the WD-42, but get out as much as you can with the sewing pin. It should kind of come out all in one piece after it's been soaking. And then spray through it with that WD-40. And there we go, clean. Ready to use. So let's do it again. And I'm doing this a bunch of times because there's different issues you'll run into with different caps, so I want to make sure you get a an overview of sort of all the possible things that can happen and what to do about them. I'm cleaning out the, the little tube with my sewing pin. And I'll spray a little WD-40 through it, and we got another cap. All right. Let's keep going and see what else might happen. Okay, so you might notice that nothing comes out of this one. So what does that mean? What do you do then? Well, some of them just aren't going to get cleaned. There's, I would say about 80% of them are going to work and 20% of them are going to have a problem. This one, I took it off and the little tube part that was inside got stuck there. So I have to take it off, grab it with a paper towel and take it off. That cap is dead. It died. Some of them just die. But you can save most of them, and it's going to save you a lot of money in buying these caps because they sell them for like 25 cents each. Or it's pretty ridiculous. So definitely worthwhile to learn how to clean them and have a big supply of caps. You should always have a, a big supply of clean caps because the disadvantage of working with water-based paint is that it clogs a lot, so you want to have fresh caps ready at all times. The advantage is non-toxic, so I would rather deal with uh, annoying caps <laughs> and clogging than health consequences. I'd rather be cleaning out the caps than cleaning out my body. So this is well worth it. And most of those caps will be able to be reused. So I hope you've enjoyed this and that you've learned how to clean your caps working with Montana Water Base 300. If you have any questions, my name is Elisa Amore and go to Spray Paint Art Secrets dot com to get all kinds of free spray paint art information. Ciao.